Move on to your computer. Perfect. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. This is exactly what how I want to spend my New Year's Eve is helping uh -huh. people and yes. talking to people and chilling with our little Bella. Your hair's growing back. You're looking way cuter, Bella. We have a lot of questions coming in right away. Um, and yeah, we're excited. I do want to say challenge starts tomorrow. The carnivore yes. challenge starts tomorrow. Carnivore for weight loss we are set challenge. Up. Craig has his copy and I have my copy. So well, if you don't you like spiral bound or bound with the kind of yeah. plastic binder. Uh, if you don't like eBooks, I like a printed book. I mean, that's why I wrote printed books. Um, you can get it printed. This is this guy who does it. Super nice guy. Anyway, yeah, questions. Great company. Um, questions this is going to be just, you know, all about answering your questions. And, you know, we put in this, you know, how do you lose that holiday weight? Because a lot of people, I mean, what's the average over the holidays? It's like 20 pounds or 15. It's 15. But I know I see like five people treat. I see Aaron, Anessa that are already going to do the carnivore challenge. And they are already set up. They did the measurements and everything. Awesome. Uh, first question was best way to balance hormones post menopause. Um, honestly, like food is great. Food is healing. Carnivore is great, but it's not going to make you not be in menopause. Let's just get that clear. Um, I am a big fan. If it's right for you of bioidentical hormones, um, it's been proven that uh, the studies showing that it caused breast cancer was totally flawed. The women already were at risk for breast cancer and they were um, not, the studies were flawed big time. Um, yeah. I think Dr. Peter Itia has a really great, whether you like him or not, he has a great YouTube video about uh, hormones. And so I don't know, they help transform my life. Um, so I'm a big fan, but again, if it's right for you, um, but there are some natural supplements that I do help women that don't want to do that with. Um, and with that, I would, you know, do a, like a personal health assessment. Um, cause yeah. And even diet keto and carnivore can help a lot, you know, with symptoms and whatnot. That's what I said, if, but if it if can't not, cure it. Yeah. You're no. going to be in menopause. Yep. I mean, just, okay. Uh, Hi from France. Hey, right? France. Hey, we were just watching uh, Julia Child's HBO series and she's in France and like, oh. Somebody says, I'm on Oahu. Very interested in how to incorporate keto carnivore for uh, quick weight loss. Uh, I would join the challenge. The challenge I mean, for sure. You're going to get everything you need in that to uh, and all the support but, with the weekly meetings in there too. But otherwise we have uh, free Facebook groups and Here's the thing, like carnivore is great, but it doesn't automatically mean weight loss. And in fact, right, probably the notes. most of my clients lately have been uh, people who've tried carnivore and did like a different type of protocol than what I would suggest. And they gained at least 20 pounds and are frustrated. Um, you can, you know, eat all the ribeye with the butter and gain weight very quickly. Um, and like... I don't know. We, we do. I mean, even when we like get into that, snack, like we, we have too many pork rinds and fatty foods. Over the holidays, I tend to overindulge yeah. a little and I'll gain five, 10 pounds. And then yeah. And then we come go back here to and I'll eat fish. a lot more fish and leaner proteins and I'll lose it. So yeah, tenderloin, that type of stuff. So um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, trying to find, uh, I'll tend to try to focus on questions here. Can, can I we, do, can, can I, we, sorry, go ahead. Can I do like a shameless plug? Sure. Tomorrow is a, another big day. It's the first day to sign up for our certified keto coaching program, which is also carnivore and protein sparing modified fast. And let me tell you something, people, if you are like, I don't know how to start a business. I don't know how to start a website business. We have everything ready for you. So as soon as you graduate, you have a website with your logo, your information on it. There's meal plans for you, videos for you to give to clients. All you have to do is promote yourself and pass the test. Um, but then we're there for you the whole time. Um, like Mandy, she's one of our coaches, Autumn, she's one of our coaches. Um, if they ever have issues with a client, they can message us, say, I don't know how to answer this question. And we are fast to respond and very quick to help them out. Um, so if you're interested in that, that opens up tomorrow, but you can sign up today, right? Yes. Um, it's, it's available now. Okay. Um, and then I'll also say, uh, anybody that does the super chats, we oh, are very appreciative so of that. Uh, I'm just going to throw that out there. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Anyone else? Yeah. Join the challenge. Yeah. People, there's, there's several people on here. Can we drink flavored collagen or anything other than water? Well, this For is the why, challenge. This is why um, there's a, what is your why? Cause what yeah. is your why is going to determine how you do this challenge? Because like, um, tonight I'm making 
ribs, which would not be on the challenge, but I'm going to put some spices on them. Are they 100% carnivore? No, spices are not. They're more like a level four carnivore. So if you have autoimmune issues, chronic pain, maybe bipolar, depression, you're going to want to stick to very strict carnivore. No spices, no level flavor one. top. No level one, which is just beef and salt, yeah. at least to start with. And then work your way back up through like an uh, elimination protocol. We call it the carnivore autoimmune protocol. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in the book uh, that you get with the challenge. It explains it all. But like I... I add some flavor to my water, things like that, some stevia. But again, it's it's what is your why, you know? So just like throwing that out there. Uh, published research repeatedly blames red meat for the worsening of arthritis, along with other immune dysfunctional illnesses. Please clarify on carnivore diet such as. I would argue that okay. I have thousands of testimonies so, of people getting off medication. Yeah, it, it, all of that. that. Uh, and I don't think we've ever had a client with arthritis that didn't see improvements. No. Nope. Um, but here's the thing about the studies. The research is done. Um, most, of, most of the research that you're talking about is observational studies, which is a study where they say, what did you eat in the past week? <laughs> or what, and then they extrapolate for the year or years afterwards of outcomes. Or they'll ask, what did you eat in the last year? A fruit fre frequency questionnaire. And there's no way, and, and they don't... Uh, you know, filter those for, oh, by the way, the people that ate more meat also ate more milkshakes and fries with it and it the bun and, yeah. uh, and smoked more and this and that. But then they just say it was the meat. And so there's no way to, uh, you know, filter out those kind of things. You really can't gain much knowledge from those mm -hmm. types of studies unless the correlation is like 300% or more. Mm -hmm. And usually with these, it's like a 20% increase, which is meaningless. So it's really about the, uh, digging in the studies and understanding them. We need to all say so. Polly. Everybody needs to say Polly. We love you. She's dealing with so much health issues right now. I just want to cry. I love you, Polly. Oh man. I'm let's sorry, see. Polly. Um, let's see. You are a super challenge, woman. Challenge, challenge, challenge. Lots of people from all over. Hello, everyone. Um, I just want to say, well, you asked, find a question. Yep. Polly, she came on my uh, keto retreat to Greece and then she came to my keto retreat to Italy. Um, she is, she made those trips so fun. And so like, she just was her own person and she came alone and just did her own thing. And we all fell in love with her and she's sadly dealing with stage four cancer. Um, and then she now has COVID. So that's delaying some of her treatment. And I just, oh man, like everybody celebrate life because, um, you just don't know what's going to happen. I see. Elizabeth says, uh, but we can't measure and weigh until tomorrow. Correct. Yeah. So the way the challenge is set up is January 1st to January 31st. It's going to automatically look at your numbers for, for measurements there's and, and weight. And we're going to have, uh, we have lots of prizes um, and we're going to have two of the prizes are going to be, one's going to be for most weight loss and most inches lost. And you know, if you want to be part of that, when you, after you purchase the challenge, you opt in, I should have a video showing you how to do that. And then you got to make sure your first measurement is on January 1st. That's your starting. And you could, you could measure now and just write it down. Just make sure to enter it on January 1st so that it starts your, your numbers. Okay. So Connie's asking, can we lose weight on this challenge? Seems like higher fat than I'm used to. No, 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 no. You're looking at somebody else's plan because yeah. our plan is not high fat. I don't. Yeah. It's, it's very moderate amounts of fat. It, yeah. It's not, it's not uh, butter and that type of stuff. It's totally different. And yeah, that's everybody's saying we love you, Polly. We do love uh, you, Polly. How does your carnivore diet differ from other di carnivore diets that cause weight gain? We don't go crazy with the fat. Well, we don't calories add matter. We don't do fattiest cuts of meats and eat until you're stuffed. Like a lot of people say, we talk about prioritizing protein and, you know, moderating dietary fats based on your goals but and adjusting just, it. We, we, we prioritize protein for a variety of reasons. First of all, the nutrients are in the protein. If you look at like fat, there's very little nutrients, maybe some vitamin A, but the nutrients are yeah. in the protein. The vitamins and minerals, the things that your body's going to use to help you heal and whatnot is in the protein. And we also count calories. A lot of people will say that you can eat as much as you want until you're uncomfortably full. That's not true. You could drink heavy cream. That's carnivore. And, you know, the carton's gone. And, you know, the well, next day. Yeah. That's just, just, 
calories do matter. I understand we're all different. We all have different hormones and things like that, but there's the, what the processes that go on in the body are the same. And one of the things that people don't talk about enough and is ignored by that community is that if you're obese, you have leptin resistance. Mm -hmm. And when you have leptin, leptin resistance, you don't get that I'm full signal like you should. Mm -hmm. And so eating till you're uncomfortably full will cause you to overeat because you're not getting the proper leptin signaling. You should because you're obese. And so you have to shrink the fat cells. Mm -hmm. You have to lose body fat to help reverse the the leptin resistance. And also if you're not sleeping at least eight hours, you know, if you're getting five hours of sleep a night, you're not, you're going to have leptin resistance too. And that signal to stop eating is probably malfunctioning. So, uh, one question was what's the difference between carnivore and protein sparing modified fast? Um, this is the way I look at it. Keto is, you know, very low carb. Uh, and in any of these situations for us, it's prioritizing protein, make sure you get enough for your protein goal. So those are the commonalities, okay? Very low carb and pr prioritizing protein. If you take keto and you just eliminate all the plants, you're carnivore. If you take- Well, plants and almond flour and all that. Well, there's plants. I mean, you know, almonds are up from a plant. So anything from a plant, you eliminate it, okay. you're now carnivore, okay. right? Um, and then, uh, so you're just eating the meats uh, and what comes from animals, like dairy, if, if you are doing that, or eggs. Um, then if you look at, uh, protein sparing modified fast, it could be either. It's just greatly lowering the dietary fat to speed up weight loss. It's a tool for speeding up weight loss and, and breaking stalls and that kind of thing. Because this book has 30 protein sparing modified fast recipes in it. That's why yep. it's called carnivore for weight loss. Uh, there we go. But I would say if you don't have any autoimmune issues or things like that, protein sparing modified fast approach is probably a better weight loss situation. Uh, but I do love carnivore for the healing and all of those benefits. So I kind of just determine how I work with somebody like uh, tomorrow, I have a phone consult and her daughter has seizures. Her program is going to be much different than somebody who wants to lose weight. Let's see. There's a good one. Uh, how may, how may we avoid the headaches slash nausea feeling from not eating sugar, breads, et cetera. Uh, my body will be detoxing from all of these. The primary thing is going to be getting your electrolytes, electrolytes yeah. right. That's usually dehydration you're feeling. It's not the keto flu. It's called the carbohydrate withdrawal. And with that, if you want to do something that you can make at home, I have a recipe on my website for soul water, S-O-L-E water. And you can make that at home and just, you know, have it in your fridge or whatever. Or you could buy something like Element. We really like that. And when you do order Element, you get a free sample box with your order. And if you just go to drink element.com slash uh, Maria, yeah. and you can score that there, but it's more about keeping it out of the house. You know, you keep the sugar around at a moment of weakness, you're going to go towards it. You know, like we all have bad days. And I was just talking to my sister about, you know, what I do when, last week was a tough week. You all know what I do when I have a bad week. And she didn't like what my answer was. I'm not going to tell you guys. But I said, I'm not grabbing alcohol. I'm not dra grabbing food. I'm not grabbing sugar. I'm not, you know, grabbing alcohol like everybody else or drugs. And I was like, why is that a bad answer? She's like, no, you're right. Everybody does do something. And that's not such a bad thing to do. If you can guess what it is, try. Um, let's see. When will we get the meal plans for the challenge? Uh, they're already all posted. Uh, mm -hmm. If you purchase the challenge, go back to Keto Adapted, do the login. Log in with your username and password, um, and then go to the on the menu. The challenge home will show up. So click on that. Everything for the challenge is right there. Oh, Kathy, I love you. She said so many great <clears throat> recipes in that book. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, what about cheese? Should I cut that in carnivore, or can we eat that? So that's why I like protein sparing because on protein sparing, there's no dairy, and it's just for our, our protein sparing, right? Yeah. And it's very effective. However, when people do have a lot of dairy, like butter and cheese and all of that, they will not lose weight. Um, and that's why our challenge is dairy free. Uh, another one that was above that living here in Canada, do I still need to take vitamin K and D during the challenge? I would I think it would make sense. Yeah. I mean, There's... most people don't get enough K too. No. Uh, it comes from, uh, Organ meats, which most people don't eat a lot of, fermented vegetables. Uh, naturally fermented vegetables, and nobody really does anymore. Um, 
and some hard cheeses and things, which, you know, for weight loss, you want to avoid dairy. So, and I just want to say something about this whole vitamin D thing. I know it's better to get it from the sun. I understand that. However, our children are from Ethiopia. And one of the things you have to do when you first adopt children and bring them to the United States is to do all these blood tests. And one of the blood tests was vitamin D. Their orphanage, they were outside all the time. Like we just, there was no really inside. You were outside all the time. And when they did their vitamin D, it was really low. And why is that? Because they were eating plenty of fat. They had whole milk and things like that. Um, they have a natural sunscreen. They're very dark skinned. So if depending on your complexion too, you know, if you're very fair skinned and you burn easy, you don't need a lot of sunlight to get a lot of vitamin D. But if you are, you know, very dark skin, you're going to need probably some supplementation because, you know, they live on the equator. That was another thing too. E Ethiopia is on the equator. So it's not like they were in a, like a Northern climate that didn't get a lot of that sunlight. Um, and I wear mineral sunscreen now because like, man, my skin was looking bad and I want to save it. So here in Maui, I'm wearing mineral sunscreen and then I don't, I don't get that. So yeah, I'm going to take some vitamin D. I don't know. Uh, how much is your challenge a plan? Um, there's two options. Uh, if you already own this ebook, um, you can get the challenge for $60. If you don't own this book, this book is required for the challenge. All the recipes are out of here. Uh, you can um, purchase it for half off the normal price with the challenge. So that'd be $75. Uh, I'll put links. Uh, maybe we can get a link in here, uh, Autumn, please, to the challenge for anybody who wants to grab it. We'll put it in the comments. And we'll, I'll also put it below the video. Join um, the challenge, but I can't eat bacon or other fats because of gastroparesis. I think I'll watch and learn, but not do the challenge. I have insulin resistance, GERD, and estrogen dominance. Okay, Linda, I would do a personal health assessment, but you can still do the challenge um, because I do help people with gastroparesis. And there's not a, a ton of fat. If you can't eat bacon to make the mayo, you know, you don't have to eat the mayo. You could, you know just not use that or you could use it a uh, different fat like uh, I use tallow or lard or tallow um, which is comes from um, a cow but I probably would do like a personal health assessment just saying um, Tiffany says would you please post a link to the printed recipe book afterwards actually if you own this ebook you can get it printed so this was you 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 take the ebook and you upload it to this company. Which will have the link below. I'll put the link below. Super um, nice guy. Super nice company. Um, they they print them and bind them and send you a copy. You can get it with just a color cover and black and white on the inside, which is cheaper. Or you can get a full color hey. on the inside too. Eula, I think that's how you say it. I'm from, or hello from Maui in Kihei. Hello, hello, we're in Kihei. Right down the um, street. I'm a strict carnivore since March 23. I keep my ulcerative colitis under control. Maui beef, yep, salt and water. Um, would you give specific recommendations for ulcerative colitis? Thank you. Well, it's just something you, if you're under control, you, you're you under control. That's, that's fantastic. Um, usually when I'm working with somebody that's having flares and stuff, I do recommend things like L-glutamine as long as they don't have cancer. Uh, L-glutamine helps, it's an, an amino acid that comes from protein that helps heal the intestinal lining and staying obviously dairy free, which you are, are, but yeah, that's awesome. We're uh, at Charlie Young beach. So maybe we'll meet you someday. So my mind's jumping around here. I'm trying to keep, catch up. Uh, Would Redmond Relight be uh, on the plan or element or is element only approved? No, no, no. If you really want to be strict carnivore, it would be just like the soul water. Cause the soul water is just Redmond real salt. And you could add some magnesium, which is carnivore. Um, you know, or just their unflavored ones without any stevia, um, things like that. But, you know, there is going to be some citric acid in both of them. Um, so it's not, it's not strict carnivore. They have stevia in them. That's not strict carnivore. So if, and here's the thing, people, and we'll teach you this on the, the, the challenge, but you have these taste buds. And you can change your palate. You have to give it time, though, because they'll, they're they going to turn over about every 15 days. So if you give yourself 15 days without any sweetener or anything like that, you're going to start to not crave that as much. There's still different things that affect cravings and how you desire different flavors in your mouth. But your taste buds are a huge hurdle to get over. So if you want to, 
you know, maybe just do the soul water for 15 days. You know, that, that I think that's a big challenge for all of us, right? Yep. Uh, let's see. Chrissy says, what is the cost of the physical copy of the book? You didn't see that option. Well, anybody who has the ebook, like I said, can get it printed. That's his price. That's his price to print it. I think it's, I think the black and white version is as little as like $17 or something. Yeah. Or you can go to like Kinko's, FedEx, whatever. Um, Hello from Wisconsin. Stay hello. Warm. Oh, alopecia, alopecia problems. Worried about more attacks. So my, one of my favorite testimonies was Kiki. Yeah. Um, Kiki was someone that I would lift weights with and she would come to the gym, but she was a professor. So I only saw her in the summertime. It was in September. She came up to me, said, Maria, I want to hire you. I heard that you could help me with alopecia. I said, all right. She came into my office um, and I told her everything she needed to do. And I didn't see her for six months because she was uh, doing her professor stuff. But then in May, she came to the body pump class that we did. And she had her stupid bandana on again because she always wore a bandana. And she whipped her bandana off in front of everybody. And she said, Maria, she had a huge head of hair. I had my first haircut in 10 years. And she started crying. And it was great. But the sad part of the story is she was addicted to her food and she was not overweight, but she, it showed on her, you know, hair. Um, she went back to eating her other way and now she's bald again. So it's just, I will teach you how to do it, but it's the hard part is actually doing it. Uh, let's see. I wanted to do level one for at least the first week as I have Hashimoto's. Mm. How do I do that when the first meal is the bagels? Um, so a couple things, number one, We've seen great results with Hashimoto's with just cutting 100% of dairy, 100% of gluten, which you're going to get with any of these plans. Yep. Uh, if you want to do true true level one, then you're going to have to have just beef, which means uh, basically, and I talk about There's this. There's a lot of recipes in there for you. Make sure to watch the videos on the, the challenge homepage on keto-adapted.com. I, I have two videos on the meal plans and how to modify them, how to adjust them. Make sure to watch those. They're really helpful. Um, but basically just look at the macros for that day and mimic them with, you know, recipes out of here that are just beef or just pick your own, uh, uh, beef recipes or sources or cuts of cuts of beef and try to mimic, mimic the, the macros. That's what our, like our, uh, clients really love about Craig created this amazing meal plan that you can just pick beef and salt and then you get all you know, whatever recipes I have for you. And then you just pull them into your meal planner, make sure they fit your macros that we give you and then just go from there. And then you could eat like the same. I think here's the thing. When we were growing up, we had the same thing every week. We had taco yeah. night, we had pizza night, we had pork chop night, which I hated. Um, but you just kind of have the same thing every week and you just are going to adapt your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to fit that carnivore lifestyle. So it's not like overwhelming. You have to learn, you know, hundreds of new recipes. No, you're going to pick one week, once you find everything that you like, kind of follow that every week. I think that that's what we do. I mean, yeah. I'm like a dog. I could eat the same thing. It doesn't bother me. Uh, so I said they printed the book at Staples and it was over $100. What? Definitely lose your connection next time. That's what we love about them. They're, they're really affordable. Uh, made the Boston Cream Donuts again last night. Can I have the homemade dark chocolate on Carnivore? Like the chocolate on the donuts, but no almonds or coconut no, milk. Chocolate is chocolate actually has a lot of oxalates, so I wouldn't. I would keep that as a treat in general, but especially if you're trying to do carnivore. I mean, yeah, I would definitely. I know I have some recipe testers. I think she's on here. Mandy uh, is one of them, and she's like, "Oh no, Maria, I have to test all your recipes before January because I'm going to do the challenge." But I was like, "You don't have to do those recipes during that week." Let's see, uh, fellow Cheddarheads, uh, Keto <laughs> Carnivore Eater, Lipid Panel, A1C question. We're all different, but any research on optimal numbers? Uh, I'm under medical requirements. So generally A1C, you're going to be looking for, uh, you know, 5.4 or less is typically what we look for. But um, things are going to change that other than yeah. your blood sugar. Like depending on your iron levels, that can change what that number is. It could abnormally be high if you have a very high iron number or high ferritin number. It's not necessarily that your blood sugars were high, but it's how long your blood cells are living. So then I can shift the A1C a little bit, uh, yeah. either up or down. Um, if they're 
living too short and it'll sh shift it down ar ar artificially. If it's I think that's why Sean Baker gets a hard time longer. His is a little bit higher. His uh, cells are living longer than right. normal. That's not a bad thing. Um, it's just it is what it and is. And then for lipid panel, um, it depends. I mean, that's a pretty complex depth uh, answer. There's lots of things to think about and lots of things you go into like Dave Feldman's work on cholesterol and LDL and all that. I would, we typically look at two things on that first, which is your HDL and triglycerides. And you, you calculate the triglyceride to HDL ratio, which means take your triglycerides, divide it by the HDL. And if it's below two, that's good. If it's below one, that's great. And that's kind of what we shoot for there. Oh, two crazy can, ketos are on here. Sorry. Hey. Uh, Happy New Year, guys. Can, we love you. Can bagels be made without yes. beef? Yes, they can. Yes. Uh, and bagels can be made without poultry too. Cause I don't know. Where really are like those poultry. videos again? Uh, again, just log into keto dash adapted.com where, where you purchase the challenge. Once, once you log in, there's a challenge home in the menu. Click on that. Everything's there. All these videos, all the meal plans, everything is right there. Aaron, can you drink bone broth daily? Uh, it's going to change your results. Like again, what is your why? If you don't really care about being the winner of weight loss, sure. But, you know, bone broth, depending on how you make it, mine was all really fatty. Like it had a huge thing of fat, that fat and calories, they do count. So you, you should count those. Um, but, you know, what is your why? If it's healing and different things, you could win the you know, the inspirational challenge one. Right? There's going to be a bunch of prizes. Uh, just the total weight loss and total inches is just two of them. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have a lot of other ones too. You want to um, talk about something? Yeah. I brought this up because somebody asked where it Can I hold now. it up there? I, yep. Um, where is it? I don't, where is it? Uh, the meal plan only shows two meals a day. What should I do if I get hungry? These. Um, add more of these. Uh, shrimp, pick some lean protein and eat it. So, you know, any of these, any, any fish, seafood. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. Those what? kind of things. Just eat some more of that <laughs> shrimp. One huge shrimp, a big one. It has 10 calories. Eat, eat 10 of them because that's not. And another It'll thing that I love up. about protein is they has a thermic effect of food. The thermic yes. effect of fat is really like 1%. It's very, very low. That means like if you eat, 100 calories, you net like 99. However, protein has this high thermic effect of food. So if you eat 100 calories of protein, you really only net 65. It, it burn. This is why you ever get the meat sweats? I get that all the time at night. This is why I love my chili pad, but you get really hot at night. Um, so that's what that's about. But I would don't, I wouldn't do a shake. Don't drink your calories because that doesn't signal the proper hormones to tell you that you're full and satisfied. But I would make more. And there's days that I slept really poorly. And so, you know what? I have another piece of fish. It's like 200 calories. What's the difference? You know, like, so instead of just having one piece of mahi, I'll have two. And then I feel much, much better. So, and here's the thing too, you might be hungry because you didn't sleep well. You might be hungry because you have leptin resistance. You might be hungry because you're just used to eating a lot of food and it's okay to be hungry once in a while. With you're trying to lose weight. If, if yeah, especially if you're obese and you yeah. have le leptin resistance, the only way you're going to reverse that leptin resistance and start feeling full again is to shrink the fat cells. And so you you need to prioritize the protein, limit the fat to make that happen. Um, Denise said, I, just, I don't have a gallbladder. Yeah. Is carnivore an option? Absolutely. Again, we would do a version of our carnivore that's not high fat. It's not adding butter. It's not ribeyes. It's not ribs, things like that. And I do have a couple supplements that I would recommend. Um, but those supplements are on, uh, if you go to mariamindbodyhealth.com, you will see the shopping guide. And on that shopping guide, there's a supplement favorites list. And there's two of them on there that's, I give it, make sure every person without a gallbladder takes because you want to make sure that you're absorbing nutrients um, so you can keep your body healthy. <clears throat> Can my husband and I both participate with one account? Um, you you can, you could share it, whatever. But, but, but you both can't win. <laughs> but you both, yeah, you can't have like two trackers. Two trackers. You can only have one. So if you want both of you to be included in like the challenge for weight loss or inches lost, et cetera, 
or win multiple prizes, then you'd have to have separate accounts. Right. Like he could just do it along with you, but just keep your tracking going on there. What does the side dish in the meal plan mean? Is that an extra meal? Also, what are the lean proteins again? So uh, the side dish, first of all, it says side dish with either meal. If there's nothing listed, listed there, then there's nothing for a side dish. If there is something there, you can eat it with your breakfast. You can eat it with the second meal. You can eat it in between. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can eat it anytime. It's just part of the meal plan for that day. The lean proteins would be seafood. Even salmon is very lean. It's like protein sparing macros. I'll, I'll post this chart to the challenge page in, in the announce the, the uh, announcement section here and yeah. maybe later today. Uh, would you screenshot the image here? Yeah, um, we'll we'll make sure it's included. Uh, let's see. Mahalo. Great. May I ask uh, one more question regarding oscillative colitis? I tried to add magnesium, but it affects my digestion and increases my bathroom trips. What is the main problem with oscillative colitis? So here's the thing about magnesium. It depends on, first of all, which kind you bought because yeah. do not buy it from Target or Foodland over here because it's going to be magnesium oxide. That's going to give everybody diarrhea. Do not buy magnesium citrate. I know a lot of people do like the magnesium calm. That's just crap. Don't buy that. Um, don't do magnesium citrate either. If you are constipated, it is not a magnesium issue. Um, it's usually dairy, nuts, not enough salt. Um, there's a, a, other things that would cause like a iodine deficiency, but it's not a magnesium citrate deficiency. Do magnesium glycinate or uh, magnesium l -theronate. You want a magnesium that's attached to an amino acid. Um, and But there is some people that have a very sensitive stomach. And in that case, a topical magnesium, jeepers, Bella, a topical magnesium would be highly recommended. And I often do that with like children who um, don't want to swallow pills or things like that. So. Any thoughts on sugar RX? I think that's allulose, right? That's fine. Sugar RX. If it's allulose, yeah, there's been, well, on the challenge, obviously it's not going to be carnivore, but yeah. they're finding, we're, this isn't about the carnivore challenge. Though. This live is about weight loss. Yeah. Here's a great thing about allulose. Allulose has been found to be almost like the GLP-1s, those uh, peptides that people are taking for weight loss because it tells you that you're full faster. And so um, we actually, I made some ribs. And I made barbecue sauce with allulose and I was so full so fast. So I was like, oh man, that's kind of a bummer. But, you know, it's just because I really wanted to eat a lot of ribs. But it's really great for helping you eat less food throughout the day when you have some allulose. I'm not saying to take like spoonfuls of allulose for that. But I'm just saying if you replace sugary things that cause you to want to eat more, this could help you eat less. Uh, but thank you, Tracy, for joining the challenge. You'll love it. Bagels say two servings, so two bagels and four eggs for breakfast. No, uh, please watch the – there's two videos on the meal plan specifically. Please watch them. They explain everything in detail. It's The meal plans are set up to serve two people. And so you always eat one serving of any recipe or anything listed unless it's listed twice. Like the, the meal I have listed twice on the day, it means you eat two servings of it. Otherwise, everything's one serving. What is the purpose for the bacon mayo, Craig? Is it for extra fat? I'm starting with level one. Uh, so this is for future references. I don't want the mayo. Can I use butter flavored coconut oil instead? Well, coconut oil is not carnivore. Yeah. So, I mean, it depends what your why is. Right. Um, the reason for it is it's just getting the macros in a good place. And so the, the, the meals that were in there, they're like that breakfast. It was a bagel with eggs. Uh, and so that just would be something you'd smear on the so bagel. What if she chose not to use the mayo? Would it be more of a protein sparing day? Yeah, but you don't want to do those every day. I'm not so. saying every day. I'm just saying maybe she doesn't want the, you know. Yeah. I You just don't want to be doing really low calorie no. day after day. And so you want to keep the calories in a reasonable level for the day-to-day -day basis. Adding protein sparing days here and there where they go lower, that's fine. And that's what I did. There's actually three protein sparing days in the plans, the meal plans. Um, but you know, on those other days, and here's the other thing, they're not, I don't have 27 sets of meal plans, one for each inch of height from four foot 10 to six foot four, right? Cause that's what I would have to do to do it accurately for every that's person. That's how we do it for our clients. And that's what, you know, we give macros like that for clients. 
but I had to make some assumptions. And uh, in this case, the assumption I made was that these are going to be pretty close for this range of people, um, plus or minus 10, 20 grams, right? Or plus or minus 10 grams, say, uh, of protein or fat or whatever. Um, and so the one, the first set of meal plans is for under five foot six tall women. Well, in that case, if you're five foot tall, there's probably more food in there than you really need. And it says right on the meal plan, again, please watch the videos, please read the notes on the meal plan. Uh, it says if you're shorter and you can't eat all the food, as long as you, you know, eat the protein first, don't eat the mayo first, eat the protein first and you're full, don't have to add the extra stuff. I'm not saying that magnesium, ca ca the calm magnesium will cause gut issues, but it is certainly not helping your magnesium levels whatsoever. And it's not helping with your blood vessels and things like that. I'm just saying like, it's kind of a waste of money. How it's many just, people are in this challenge now? Okay. Is there a private group that we can chit chat? Yes. There's a private Facebook group for everybody in the challenge. And there are hundreds of, I think there's over 600 people in the, in the Facebook group. Yeah. Right this now. is becoming a like full-time job. Yeah. <laughs> it is a very, very busy. We thought maybe like 50 people would sign up maybe. And it's a lot, but we want you all to succeed. So that's why we have the Facebook page. We are on there nonstop. We, we yes. spent like the whole, the whole holiday season doing this. So we love it. We want you guys to do great, but yeah, check it out. I don't see the cookbook link on the challenge homepage. Nancy, uh, if you purchased it, then it's going to be in, in the, in you, you, yeah. And your downloads under, uh, uh, help go to my account. Mm -hmm. But for any, any of these types of issues, please just email support and we'll help you. It's support at keto adapted.com. What about pairing my level one? carnivore with exercise for these are more like the carnivore challenge questions i i am yeah. going to cover exercise during the challenge um you can absolutely exercise and you should exercise especially weight training um but uh if you're usually sedentary or obese you do not have to exercise but i want to i'll teach you the most effective way to exercise the timing of when to exercise you know because why you want to do it in the morning and not in the afternoon or evening um, but you don't have to add that, but stretching is a great way to lose fat and at least maintain your muscle while you lose weight because stretching is going to help those muscles retain, um, and not deteriorate. Uh, bagels list two servings and then there's two photos. So four bagels in, yeah, if you go to the taller groups, the taller meal plans, I did do two bagels. For breakfast so you, uh, there's two pictures that means there's two servings that you're eating so you eat two ba bagels and the other thing too is uh, some people have done this uh and they really like it you can make it as a bread you just take the bagel recipe put it into a loaf pan cut it into eight slices and yeah. each slice is a serving and, and the reason we chose that recipe is because people love it like i didn't think people were going to love it as much as they did when i created yeah. it but they really really love it and it, it's working great for people as a bread option i was really surprised at how of a bread flavor it was versus a meat yeah. flavor. Okay. Um, but Elizabeth, that's not how many people are on it. That's how many people are on the Facebook group. Just yeah. think about that. Yep. So there's even more. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Sorry, I just saw the face, probably Facebook. Yeah, just, and again, it, all of this is accessible from the challenge homepage. So you log in, go to the challenge home, and there's buttons on the top for all these different things like meal plans, tracking, the Facebook group. It's all right there. Uh, I'm from Idaho. Love you guys. Been following you for years. Thank you for keeping my family healthy, fit for life. I love that so much. I just have to say like last week was a really difficult week for me um, just because everybody on social media seems to be like really upset with my size. I don't know what's going on um, and some other things, which I thought was weird, but I did a podcast with uh, Boundless Radio and you can find that link on my social media. I've been posting about it. He was just such an awesome guy. He's like, Maria, you are the OG. He's like, you've been doing this for 20, 27 years in March, but he's like, you were doing and helping people with the ketogenic diet 10 years before keto got popular. And I was like, yeah, you know, I didn't really think about it that way, but he just made me feel so good and appreciated and just exactly what I needed to hear. And my mom, I don't know if she's watching. Um, yesterday we had a conversation and Sometimes she's a little bit hard on me. She's still upset about my broken nose and what it looks like. I just can't, I can't do anything about that. Um, and I just told her, I said, no, I need people to be kind to mom. I don't need your judgment or whatever. Maybe I'll fix it in the future. I don't know. 
But she said, you know what, Maria, besides that, she's like, you're leaving such a legacy. And to hear that from your parents, it's just like, I don't know, it's because you hear it from people online and it's like, whatever, it's nice to hear, but to hear it from, you know, your, your hard parents that are kind of hard on you, it was just like, wow, that really, it really, it will stay, stick with me forever. So thank you, Grandma Nancy, if you're watching, Nancy, oh, yes. we call her Grandma Nancy because the boys, I see the boys at the beach right now. So Christy, yeah. So thanks, Craig. I'm on the shorter side and a short uh, challenge has two photos. Yeah, actually, I just looked. And you're right, on day day 14, I have you eating two servings of the bagel that day and with less, less eggs. So, you know, it's all about getting the macros to match. And it's, it's, a, it's not easy. It took me days to make these meal plans and get everything to match up. And that's one of the benefits of the challenge is it takes out all the guesswork. You just eat, eat what is shown and that's it. But here's, here's what I would do want to tell people. If you don't like those recipes or those meals, then I would suggest instead of the challenge, doing a platinum membership because a platinum membership will give you access to getting your own personal macros done. And then that meal planner, and I show you, you know, we show you which ones will fit into your macros, the dairy free, you know, the recipes, and you can get to pick which ones will fit into your meal planner. So I'm just saying I'm kind of picky. And you get weekly webinars with that too. Yeah, you do. They're half an hour instead of the hour that are going to be in the challenge, but still. But I'm picky. So I, that's, yep. that would be my choice, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, and you Alina and Craig says, are the carnivore masters. You're I so appreciate sweet. appreciate you both. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, you and Craig are awesome to provide so much information. Tell the other people to worry about themselves. Hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Um, been following you from the beginning before keto was a thing. Been keto for oh, well. 16 years. Good job. Nice Leanne. job. Leanne. Uh, appreciate all your clarifications. No problem. Uh, and that's why I did the videos. I mean, the videos, yeah. you can just, you can watch them a couple times to catch all little nuances. Um, <clears throat> but they, at the end of the day, you know, the meal plan does look, if you just look at it, it's like, whoa, this looks complicated. But if you start reading it and looking at it, it's really simple. I mean, there is in the I, I uh, just posted yesterday another video. If you haven't gone, go back and check it out. Uh, talking through the first seven days of the meal plan, and there's days where literally the only thing you cook that day are some eggs and grill a piece of fish. That's all you do for the whole day, and the rest is you know leftover bagels or whatever. So it's really simple. Like the first you just week you only to, cook six times, right? Uh, I think there's six main recipes. That's not hard. And and then the eggs, but yeah, it's it's really simple if you just understand how to how to read it. Yeah. So once you get that down, it's so easy to follow. And it's just it just seems overwhelming whenever you start something new. But it's it's really like simple simple recipes. Like everybody's like, I don't have time to cook. I'm like, stop. You don't have time. I don't have time. But I make the time because it's important to me. I'd rather not watch any television today. I'd rather not answer any questions. I want to make sure that my family eats well, um, and that's that's really really important to me. So just you know, just let's say that. But we didn't make mean to make this about the challenge. Like if you have questions just about the yeah. holidays Anything or weight all. weight loss things like um, that, um, that's what like I think protein sparing modified fast. A doing like a few days of those in January that really helps you get the weight, the weight off fast as well as cutting out dairy. I've not seen this asked yet. What about bowel movements? What is normal on carnivore? I still think once a day is normal. I mean, there, there may be some adaption period. If you, if you've never done carnivore and you dive in, you know, and the same thing with keto, you could have some, you know, your bowel movements might fluctuate for the first right. week or two as your body gets adjusted and, and, and but I usually in. help my clients make sure that they're going at least once a day. Yeah, just because you eating... want to eliminate any toxins that you get yep. in the environment or whatever. Yep, and especially with my like mold issues and whatnot, I have to make sure I go number two every day. And I don't really add anything to make sure I do go number two. And well, you have magnesium. Well, I mean, other than and salt, electrolytes or whatever. I know my normal uh, elect electrolytes, but um, <clears throat> I have been carnivore for I don't know six years or whatever now. I have a Every, every day. I mean, I, I don't think the people out there that say, oh, your body's using it. And so you have less stool. And so you don't have to go like once a week. I don't think that's good. I mean, you, you, especially if you're losing weight and your body's, you know, you store all the tax toxins in your fat cells. And mm -hmm. when you lose fat, those toxins get released and your body has to detox them and get rid of them. And if you're not going number two, only once a week, your body's going to reabsorb those toxins and you're not going to get rid of them as well. So. Our boys are 
very carnivore-ish also. I mean, they have spices and things like that, but they prefer meat. Like they wanted, you know, steak for Christmas and we had fish and ribs, things like that. They love sashimi. They're, they are pretty much carnivore and they, they're growing. So they should be utilizing all of it, Yep. but they still poo every day. Yeah. So Alicia says you're a treasure, Maria. Aww. I'm so sorry you're being attacked. Thank you. No, I uh, feel much stronger after all that, but it's still, it's not easy. Like, I don't know. Collagen. Uh, can I still drink it in the morning? Plain chocolate, coconut. If you're doing the ch challenge no. again, it's going to break. Depends, your, on, depends on what your why is. It's going to break your fast. But if your why is, you know, mainly weight loss and you're doing some of the element. Don't drink your calories. Uh, yeah. So at the end of the day, can you have collagen? Sure. It's carnivore. If it's not, uh, you know, if it doesn't have all the flavorings and whatnot. Um, but I'm going to show you, you what collagen I do. And, and different things. Uh, let's see. Join the platinum support. Looking forward to that and the challenge. Thank you for all your work. That's that's awesome, Kelly. Because not only do you get the you're going to get the weekly yeah. uh, challenge meetings, you're going to also get the weekly plat and platinum member meetings. So personal macros. But yeah, this is the collagen I take. There's capsules, and you do six of them a day. Um, I do that with my first meal, and that's not going to break your fast. There's no oxalates in it. It's just 100% pure collagen. The other ingredients is just gelatin, which is also carnivore. So if you want a carnivore gelatin, this is 100% carnivore. And I, they don't pay me to say this, but if you use code Maria, Keto Maria, you save. I uh, just really like it. I think we missed this one. I remembered it. Uh, will we do the challenge again in 2024? I'm traveling January, February, March. So, yeah, we're, we're hoping to do it January, well, February. 24. And, yeah, true. Uh, it's a 25. But uh, January, February, and March, we are plan hoping, planning to we'll do, do way wet better. three challenges during that time. super chat. Thank you. Benita, thank you so much. Uh, but we're planning on doing them those three months. Uh, if all goes well, I, yeah, I expect next year we would do the same. Yep. Um, let me see. Uh, uh joint. Okay. Will we have continued access to the link after January? As I love to do this a couple times during the year. Um, so you will lose access after January if you don't purchase February. Um, but you can do the meal plan. So what you can do is you can print out the meal plans if you want to keep them. So on the meal planner, I show you in the video how you can print out the meal plan and, and then you can keep it that way. I'm, if you're, if you're a platinum member, you can import the meal plan into your meal planner on your platinum membership and then keep it. Then you have it the, for as long as you're a platinum member. So that's another option. I love Debbie's question. Hi, you two. I don't care for the carnivore bagels with meat, but I love the protein sparing modified fast bagels. Planning on doing those with a piece of bacon on my egg, Sammy, for the missing fat. Good plan. The macros will be different. Um, I, that I would think be, that's okay. If you substitute the mayo for the bacon, yeah, absolutely. Make sure they're dairy free. You probably have more more protein and less fat, so that would be so totally probably, fine. Probably a win, people. Yeah. Debbie, you're gonna win. <laughs> I like those better too. I'm just saying. Maria, you're super cool. As Taylor Swift say, shake it off. Thank you. You're Can so you sweet. Buy tallow if you don't want to make it. Yeah, absolutely. We have. Oh yeah, a, right here. Uh, Autumn, we'll put post a link here in the chat under Maria uh, for the tallow that we use. You can get it on Amazon. It's really great. It's kind of whipped and easy to work with. I wish they would promote me, be, or like I could you work with them. I don't. I just order yeah, this every month. We I love get it. Anything from them? I, we it's use the whole really thing good. every month. Uh, let's see. Thanks, Maria. That's really good. Great way to look at cooking and the time it takes. Yes. Family's health should be a priority. It is. We prioritize their college. We prioritize the cars we buy, the vacations we go on, but we don't think about what we are going to eat for the day. And I just, to me, that's just like, no, we're going to, we plan it out. And the kids help out. Yesterday, they helped um, make two different recipes because we wanted extra things to freeze because I have to travel for work. And they're, they're in charge of helping out and they're, you know, 13 and 14, they know how to make a recipe and I don't know, kids should learn how to cook. I'm just saying. Do we have to send in pictures, starting weight, et cetera, for the challenge? Who does decide who wins? So, uh, in the, as when you purchase on the challenge homepage, there's a tracker and you have to log, uh, the starting weight on January 1st, plus measurements, if you want to include those or. Just do measurements and not do weight. That's up to you. And then, uh, you know, track, add your measurements to the month and especially at the last day of the month. 
so we can track the, the progress. Now, we don't require photos. We'll definitely following up with the winners to say, could you send a before after photo so we can uh, use it for promoting and, and showing the success. Encourage others. So if you're planning on doing that, I would definitely take a before photo, which is a good point. I'm going to add that to the announcements. Does the platinum membership include the January challenge? I'm debating what's best. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, they're different programs, different meetings. I know Anessa, she's asking a question here. She's on uh, both. She's a platinum membership and she has been since she was on the Bali trip with me. And she's also doing the challenge. And she said, I would be lost without my platinum membership, my annual investment in my health. Thank you, Anessa. Awesome. For, she's very sweet. Uh, can you use Element during the challenge? Yes. Um, uh, again, what's your why? If the why is very strict autoimmune protocol and you're starting at level one, do the soul water. Then you can do the soul water or you can do the unflavored element. Does that uh, still have citric acid in it? No. No. And so then if, if you're not doing it that way, if you're doing it just for weight loss, then you can use whatever element you want. It's the living collagen. Maybe Autumn can put the link on there. <laughs> protein spray modify oh, fast bagels. They have more protein than the meat bagels. Yeah, that's an option if, if you want to do that. Yeah. For sure. I just got the tallow for a Christmas present. That's a great holiday gift. The same. Uh, is the, is doing the challenge or carnivore suitable for someone who has currently been having gallbladder issues? We kind of covered this earlier, but yeah. Uh, I have supplements for you. Watch the video. Uh, yeah, especially earlier. our method, prioritizing protein. Yeah. Um, part of the gallbladder still remains, and mm -hmm. that's why you don't die. Uh, and so... You can support it with supplements, supplements like that we uh, talked earlier, digestive yeah. enzymes. Um, On the health assessment, you recommended beef organs. Since I'm doing level one, I take the supplements or wait to start to level two. Uh, no, because that would be it's in beef. It's so, beef and it's organs. And yep. the only other ingredient that they have is gelatin, which is also beef. So that you can take on level one. Thank you for doing that health assessment. Was it beef collagen that you're showing? I think so. All right. No, I said no. It, it's just living collagen. I said oh, that okay. already. Uh, is, is collagen helpful for hair like loss yeah, and thinning and aging skin? I would say the thing for hair loss and thinning, it could be a variety of reasons. Um, you want circulation to your head. This is why I usually recommend electrolytes because if you have your blood pressure always runs low, you're going to have hair loss because that blood is just not getting to the head like it should be. If you're a smoker, your blood, uh, what should I say? It's like, it doesn't uh, have the circulation that you want it to. So don't smoke, but it's usually protein. Protein is king when it comes to hair loss and hair thinning. This is why a lot of people try the keto diet, not our version, but they'll do like 80% fat, very low protein, low carbohydrate, and they have hair loss because your hair follicles need amino acids. Your thyroid needs yep. amino acids. And this is why collagen, yes, it helps, but you could just do more protein. But I will say th there's four different types of collagen. You want to make sure to do the collagen that's made for hair and skin and nails. There's a collagen that's made for your joints. Then there's a collagen for other parts of your body. But those two are the ones that I usually recommend for people. What percentage of the body is collagen? It's pretty high. I mean, it's um, 33% is collagen. So yeah, I mean, is collagen going to help you build your muscles? No, it will not. It doesn't count towards yeah. your protein macro for the day. So if you're counting your collagen towards your protein goal for the day, you're not winning there. Um, but it does, it, your body's still 33%. So don't skimp on it. Just, I mean, I don't know. What is your living collagen made, for, made from? I think it's it's beef. Yeah, it's it's um, um but it's not ours. It's it's four different collagens. Ancestral. It's four different collagens. Um, uh, but you have to you're supposed to take six of those capsules a day, but I can just throw it down without water. It doesn't bother me. The soul water helps me so much from having leg cramps. Yeah, it's uh I want to say something about magnesium too, because everybody's like, um, am I still can I do supplements on the challenge or just in, if you're on the carnivore diet? This is why you should, and everybody should take magnesium, even your children. And it's not because keto causes a magnesium deficiency or carnivore causes a magnesium deficiency. We used to get magnesium from our water supply. And just like we know farmers need to rotate their crops because every year they suck out certain nutrients from the soil, there's no more magnesium in the soil whatsoever. We even live on a well and we don't have magnesium in our well water at all. 
but most people aren't drinking well water. They're drinking bottled water or filtered water, which does not have magnesium. And the amount of magnesium your body needs in a day is quite a lot. After water, the next thing, substance that has magnesium in it is like halibut. Halibut's very expensive and there's only about 80 milligrams, not a lot. And then you get almonds, which has the oxalates and issues with that. So I would say magnesium is something that I give to my children every single day. And I notice when I travel and they forget their supplements, they will like get headaches or something. Awesome. Uh, she's asking what the, what the, you said that there's different collagens made for joints, some for hair and nails. Which one is this one made for? Uh, oh, I think it's a combination. Yeah, right? it's a combination. It's a blend of yep. all of them. Um, um, how to increase blood pressure if it's low. Um, doing enough electrolytes is king. Electrolytes, electrolytes, electrolytes. Elements. Elements, things like that. What's king for super dry skin? I have Hashimoto's. Um, evening art. Is it a male or female? Female. Uh, evening primrose oil. And you'll get that link on Maria Mind Body Health. Awesome. I just joined. We'll watch the replay. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Uh, been using a tallow face cream and nice. love it. Yeah. For dry skin, it, what you, she said, but in the interim for this, you know, on topically, Tallow lotions are awesome. They're they for moisturizing. Really for moisturizing. For moisturizing. They're not going to, they're not an active. They're not going to help change any like wrinkles or skin damage from the sun or anything like that. I just want to make that clear. It's great for moisturizing, but it doesn't actually help the skin change. Is well water good for drinking other than bottle? It yeah, depends. it's okay. You want to get your well water tested because it yeah. could have arsenic. It could have. If you lot. live near farm fields, there's the, you know, Roundup and, you know, Things they're spraying on it that could get down into the well water. So there's a lot of things you got to be. What is a good multivitamin for kids 10 years and age and up? Um, I have. So if you go to marieandbymodyhealth.com and go to the shopping guide and then go to the supplement favorites, it's on that link. And we have that, the supplement favorite links up above. Will being on antibiotics be a problem during the carnivore challenge? So can we tell a story? A quick sure. story. So many of you know, Craig suffered from Lyme disease, uh, was it about 12 years ago, 10 years ago now? The symptoms started like nine, 10 years ago. Nine, 10 years ago. So he started on this Lyme journey and tried to get rid of the Lyme. And it's just been hell. Let's just say that. Um, this last October, he sent me a picture because I was traveling for work and it was a tick embedded in his arm, under his arm. And he's like, crap. So here's the thing. You could either get your body tested or if you have the tick, get the tick tested because it's much easier and much more accurate. And cheaper. And cheaper. Tick tested. He had the tick tested. And guess what? It has Lyme. It has... Relapsing fever. Relapsing fever. A whole bunch of things. So am I on antibiotics again? Because uh, it's the easiest way to treat Lyme disease. Yep. And I've been carnivore. And, and I it love... It doesn't bother me. I still have no, really... Surprisingly, I still have perfect bowel movements every day. Mm -hmm. It hasn't affected that yet anyway. Uh, I've been on them for over about a month now. So. I love everyone in the carnivore community. They are just the nicest people. But when they say, oh, just eat carnivore and your Lyme disease will go away, or you just eat yeah. carnivore and you won't get cancer, I'm sorry. But there's so you, you can't control a tick yeah. bite. You can't stop a spiral keep from entering your body. From it a frustrates tick. I mean, me. It's just silly to say those things. And cancer is more, I think, environmental than it is the food we eat yeah. and hormonal and things like that. And sure, food can affect your hormones, but the environment, like scented candles and the body. Makeups yeah, and makeups. And, you know, that's going to be more issues. You know, it's like, come on. Let's see. Element caused huge water retention in ankles and I was up at night a lot stopped and i just added real salt it i still retain so i quit that five days ago what are it your suggestions it could have been something else um yeah. because there's citric acid in the any but, but she said any she, added, she added redmond and just still, redmond salt not redmond relay redmond salt does not have i know she said stopped and added redmond real salt uh and i still retained oh you still retained Five days ago, what do you suggest? So your body could be getting used to the whole water retention, or you could have eaten something that bothered you. Yeah. And it, the water retention can. I mean, how many how, five days ago? How much are you taking? You know, is it one element and this all happened, or is it you know you're taking multiple? True. I mean, uh, while we're waiting for more details on that, collagen? where does your food collagen recommendation fall into this discussion? Uh, I love 
using that for cooking and making recipes, but is it something that I would ever just like throw into it as a supplement or drink as water here? Not necessarily. No, here's kind of a thing that I made a rule a long time ago when I was not losing weight. My rule was don't drink my calories ever. Like it's just chew your food. Right. And I kind of just stuck with that. And so, yeah, I'll use the further food college and it works great for making recipes that you chew and enjoy, but I'm not going to just drink it and, every day. And I don't drink coffee. And, and uh, you know, for weight loss, chewing your calories is so important that yep. I think a lot of and these whole, you know, drinking butter and butter coffee and those kind of things. That's what, that's also the big problem in the carnivore community is people will promote that and it's not helping. It's not yeah. helping with weight loss. Um, and so or that's healing. another thing. Or healing. Let's get that clear. Um, and actually dairy can be a very big issue. We, we poo poo gluten in this keto community, but we never address dairy, which is a more common allergen than gluten is. Um, if you're looking for the magnesium that we recommend, we will have the link below, below. and a couple of real quick ones. What kind of seasoning seasonings are allowed? Again, what's your why? If your why is just weight loss, you can season it with what, however you like. If it's autoimmune, just salt. Yeah. Uh, are, so you're saying no flavored element during the challenge. Again, what's your why? We if talked it, about that earlier. Yeah. So rewatch the video. Rewatch the video and you'll catch up on all of this. My new. Uh, my newest number nine AI disease has me on steroids. I'm weaning off and uh, antibiotics that I will need to take for at least a year. I hate it, but relapse of my horrible symptoms. I don't, I don't get it. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that. And I would just make sure to keep doing a probiotic too, spaced out, you know, in between. Bullion, I would say a big no to the challenge because there's a lot of ingredients in there. And most of them were not approved. Either. And last one before we cut out, uh, how do I get a platinum oh, membership? Good question to end on. Keto-adapted.com. Go to group support. It's uh, up on the menu. Um, and the group support includes silver and platinum memberships. Uh, they're and great. I say I encourage... Something free. Everybody should join is our free Facebook group called Keto. And the link is right there. We just got it added yep. over there inside. Yep. The challenge doesn't right. include personal macros, but uh, includes sets of meal plans. You pick the a, one and you go. A platinum so. membership would. Happy New Year, everybody! Thanks, everyone. Stay safe tonight and enjoy. We're gonna. I'll be sleeping by ten. I'm sure. <laughs> Bye, everyone.